big trends that we're seeing um, outside of the workplace, but I think increasingly will start to influence the workplace. Um, mobile, social, gaming. Uh, I guess everybody talks about these. Um, everybody can see there's an opportunity, but um, the real challenge is to figure out what impact they're going to make and, uh, and how to kind of steer that or how to be involved in it. Um, so in terms of mobile, um, the kind of ubiquity of information, um, learning resources which are there when you need them, but more importantly I think in the format um, that you need them. But it's actually quite difficult chasing mobile devices. I've spent a long, many years actually trying to fit content to mobile devices and actually the good news is the mobile devices are kind of coming to us in terms of content. Um, that notwithstanding that, the, the kind of imminent demise of flash uh, because it's not supported on many mo mobile devices is, is a real cause for concern. Um, so that's a challenge. Social, uh, again, big sort of <laughs> big issues around how organisations will implement social. Lots of organisations have an appetite for doing it in much the same way that they had an appetite for implementing e-learning. And there's real potential for that to go horribly wrong. Um, it, it's much more about culture. Social learning isn't a technology. It's, it's a question of a behaviour. And the fact that, that people engage in, in social media and whatever is, is often misunderstood. People don't understand why they do it. People don't understand why, for example, they don't do it when they're part of an organisation. And that's the challenge that has to be really tackled there to, to kind of get it to work. Um, and I think gaming is another one. Um, I, was, I was blogging just actually yesterday about gaming. I think uh, there's enthusiasm for gaming. People have always been able to see that games have this fantastic ability to engage people. Um, but if I can tell a, a, a short kind of story, about 15 years ago I was working with a company and um, I re-engineered or was, was doing a little bit of kind of C-sharp programming to take a games engine um, and make it suitable for a kind of shared learning environment. Um, and we got to the point where we found ourselves in this environment, kind of stripped of weaponry and all this kind of stuff looking at a PowerPoint slide on a wall in a 3D environment. I thought, well, we've, we've actually achieved nothing by doing this. It's just ridiculous. We'd be better off just sending each other the PowerPoints. The, the workplace in 2020. This is actually the only answer that I'm 100% certain about. And um, I'll, I'll tell you about the workplace in 2020. These, all these things, uh, iPhones, uh, I, I'm, I'm a bit geeky like this, uh, iPhones, iPads, they are ridiculous. They'll be gone in 2020. The idea that you have a screen is just, it's just silly. Um, and I'll tell you what's silly about it. Um, as you move around the world increasingly, you can find information about that world around you. That's what Facebook is. You meet people, you can find information about them online. And the separation of those two things is just a blip in our history. Um, if I meet you, for example, I can sort of, so sort of Facebook you or Google you. Um, but there's no reason why that information about you shouldn't be available as I look at you. And so, what well, by 2020, we'll just kind of merge those two things. You'll wear a headset, you won't have a screen, the information you need will be there in your visual field without you having to look at something, look at the screen, look at something, look at the screen, look at something, look at the screen. It's just a silly thing to do. So, I'm confident that, yeah, give or take a few years by 2020, that's where we'll be. Again, it's, it's not as dramatic as you, you might actually think it would be. Um, already, what we're seeing is that the format of learning is moving into much kind of shorter, um, more context-specific chunks. If you go on YouTube, there are videos around, you know, how to cook this, how to hammer a nail and whatever. And that lends itself to an environment where you navigate around it and as you need a piece of information or resource, it's right there to hand. So I think actually it will be, it will seem like a natural continuation.